Hey guys, so listen in close because I am about to share a super good secret with you guys. So if you do dotting, then make sure you pay attention to this little secret. This is going to blow your mind. Keep watching. Okay guys, here I have a few items. Now what I wanted to share with you is one of my hot secrets with dotting. So let me just move my wrist rest out of the way. Here I have a coaster size dot mandala. So I just have it on my little Lazy Susan there. As you can see, it is quite defined, quite detailed, quite um, intricate. The dots are really little and really perfect, I would say. They're, they're beautifully um, circle, beautifully round. There's no bleeding around the outsides, beautifully flat. Uh, and yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys the, and the point of showing you is because I dotted this on a smooth, flat surface. So let me show you the difference now between dotting on a wooden surface. So this one is just dotted on a wooden disc that I've turned into a magnet and hopefully you can see it is quite grainy on the surface of this disc. So even after painting it with black gresso, it's still quite grainy. And what that causes is a little bit of bleed in the circles. So as you can see, see in there, the paint actually spreads a little bit. See around there, it's not quite perfect. I hope you guys can see that okay. But each dot is actually, uh, most of them are looking all right, but see that in there, that green one's not perfect, that yellow one's not perfect. So there are quite a few little indiscrepancies, I suppose, in these dots. And as you get better and better at dotting, and the more you do it, the more you're going to notice these little teeny weeny things. So let me show you the other one again. This is dotted on a smooth surface. And you can see all the circles are perfectly round with no bleeding in them. So this is a trick that all the famous dot artists do. They actually resin their items first or they put a coat of gloss or something, whatever they use, on the stone first and then they dot on top to make it really intricate and detailed. So let me show you something smaller. This is a pocket socket, finger grip, that goes on the back of your mobile phone. So I dotted this one and now it has a layer of resin over it to protect it. But you can see how detailed and tiny those dots are. And you see how perfect and round they are. There's no bleeding at all around the outsides of those dots. So to get that finer detail, you need to have a resined surface first. So, am I blow blowing your mind or what? This was uh, a massive um, secret that I discovered a couple of months ago now. Um, and I have, yeah, been resining all my items before I actually dot on them now. So, just wanted to let you guys know that little tip. Uh, I am thinking about actually providing these with resin ready on them for you guys to dot. So if you guys are interested in trying some of them, then let me know, comment below, and I can definitely pop some up for you guys to purchase and try. And here I have a coaster, and it actually has a coat of resin on it ready to dot on. As you can see, it's really shiny, ready to go. It's got a nice thin layer of resin over it. And I actually painted it first with white and I painted, I think, five or six of them. So I'm going to do a nice little set of coasters and I'm going to be able to do a really nice detailed pattern on it, just like this one. And then I can either spray it with a gloss spray over the top or put resin over it again. This one, I did a coat of resin on and then I did the dots on it. As you can see, they're looking fantastic. And then I just did a coat of gloss spray on it over the top to protect it. So that is ready to have a magnet stuck on the back and go on my fridge. 
Here I have a few little items that I have put resin on. So I've painted them with metallic paints and I've popped some resin on them and I'm going to dot on these and then probably spray them with a the gloss spray ready to go in my Etsy shop or pop on my fridge. So that is today's tip. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, make sure you like this video and comment below if you have any other requests. Thanks guys, bye.